needed time at home um which is kind of what i do a lot of when i'm back in london which is just so lovely um it's also sponsored by organic basics who are an incredible sustainable brand they've just had a whole rebranding actually i've worked with them before a long time ago and um when i say a long time ago maybe three years and still have and wear the pieces that we work together on then i've got some like sweatpants from them some gym leggings underwear um, and so I'm really excited to be working with them again because A, I can really vouch for how good their products are in terms of they last a really long time. It's a really conscious brand. It's fully focused on being a sustainable brand um, and their rebranding is really cool. So lots of very lovely things to talk about. And um, this little crop tops from them, I think lots of people will like this. I really, really, really like this colour. Cropped wise, it's like that much above the belly button and I've just got like a standard... Um, pair of mid-rise jeans on but I think this colour is really flattering I'm incredibly hot right now because I've just walked back from the shops um and it's not even that hot today but I've got myself hot and bothered by the whole action um but yeah I just want to start off by mentioning them the black t-shirt that I was just wearing in that clip as well it's also from them everything's really nice and tight fitting which I think if you don't like wearing a bra as well can be quite flattering because it does sort of hold everything in place a little bit more um and I'm really into like the baby tees with the super cropped um, sleeves and everything and it's a really nice high and tight high neck too um but yeah this is very 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 flattering as well in fact i'll stand up and show you a bit better you can kind of get an idea of how cropped it is there i'm also stood awkwardly in the living room because there's lots of like home bits happening that i don't want to um if i stand this way it'll be okay that i don't want to share with you guys yet because i'm going to do a whole vlog for that one especially um hang on if i go this way you'll be able to see anything um but yes welcome to the video and welcome back to london as well the garden's nearly done i'm not quite sure how long i'm going to film this video for and i've got lots of garden furniture coming this week but i'm not sure it will be in this vlog or maybe the next one depending on when it arrives but so far 
some J. Crew ones always. Oh. This is where we're at so far. It's the bench is um, firm living. I've had that one for a while. This table is new. Uh, well, obviously it's very old, but it's new to me. It's from, I got it off interior, which is where I also have got the chairs, um, which are arriving this week, hopefully. These are the old ones that used to be in the kitchen. They're not, they're not gonna be here permanently, but they're just for now. Um, but yeah, I wanted a, a metal table because a wooden one you meant to cover and I just know my own limitations and I'm lazy with stuff like that and I won't do it. And I knew if I had a wooden one, it wouldn't last as long as I would hope. Um, because yeah, I'm lazy and I'm just, you know, know what I'm like. So I wanted a metal one like this. Um, and I've been potting some plants. And basically I wanted to make the garden um, as low maintenance as possible, which meant not having any grass. Um, because whenever I go away, it gets very overgrown. And I didn't want to have to like build a shed to have a lawnmower in it and all of those things. So we got rid of the grass, made the beds a bit bigger. I've been trying to plant some bits. I know nothing about gardening. Everything needs a good weeding as well. I just, yeah, slowly, slowly, but, um, and then the trees had all the ivy taken off it because it was killing it. Um, so that's in tip top condition. I'm so lucky to have this tree. I love it. And then this is a second patio area because the sun comes here in the evening. Um, I need to put like bark down on this and things. It's still very much a work in progress, but, um, I mean, it's so much nicer. It feels really lovely to sit out here. Um, and I'm really excited for like all the other furniture bits to arrive. Might do a little garden party to celebrate at some point. The bottom of that table is so beautiful. I love it. Um, so yeah, everything's feeling lovely. I just um, had what ended up being, I think maybe my most intense month of travel ever, um, which was amazing. And I'm so fortunate to be able to do it, but. The, the really the nicest thing about traveling sometimes is how much you then appreciate just like being at home filling the fridge standing still for a bit you really do get the best of both worlds in that way because it does make you appreciate the, the little things um so yeah i'm feeling just so grateful to be home and nesting basically and looking after myself and catching up with friends and being very social and wondering why the hell the dishwasher just doesn't clean things um, Simon's coming over tonight. I'm gonna to cook him a risotto from my favorite cookbooks. I talk about these all the time, but I can't recommend them enough. This one is the roasting tin. There's the quick roasting tin, there's the roasting tin around the world. There are the two I've got, yeah. Um, they are the best cookbooks if you're not very good at cooking. It's so foolproof, I cannot stress enough, and I really am not very good at cooking. Um, and I thought that we could talk about books a bit. I'm hoping to finish the one I'm reading today. So once I finish that, we can have some book chat and just generally be nice and wholesome. So yeah, so we're gonna do the beetroot, oven cooked beetroot risotto. That's what I'm gonna make for us. And then I'm probably gonna have a bath in an early night and do a face mask and treat myself to lots of nice new beauty products, which we'll talk about and start the week feeling fresh and productive and good did for a second and think there was somebody in the hallway because of the light that was somebody's head so that's very stressful isn't it i've been watching too many clips of horror movies on tiktok which is my new thing watching like loads of clips of films never a whole film but i've seen 10 minutes of so many different films i can't tell you
Touch wood, it's been better. Um, I've been using this for maybe a month. Shani Darden, which is just one of those names that just should not be said with a northern accent. Um, <laughs> cleansing serum. It's like a gel kind of texture. I really like it, it's really light and it actually feels like it's doing something. Um, and now I'm going to use a face mask. This is from Tata Harper who normally I have um, really strong allergic reactions to. They give me a rash and they've brought out a new sensitive skin range, which actually really is a sensitive skin and really works. Um, it's only little, which I quite like. I feel like that's a good size. Um, it's called the Radiance Mask and it's like a paste like this. And then it goes on clear and you really like rub it in and it turns white and I feel like it makes me very glowy the next day and I sent this just to be clear but like I said like normally Tata Harper does not work for me but this whole range there's a face wash that I've tried some body moisturizer put on after the bath but this is also just really fun to put on and teeth update I've got so on my second, basically when you get Invisalign, you pay for, and I paid for mine as well, you pay for, initially mine was like a seven week course, and then within it, I assume this is standard for everybody, you get a two correction courses. So I went back after the seven weeks and was like, one, two is where I want it to be. So they rescan, reorder, and then you get another seven weeks and I can have one more of that if I need it. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm on my second to last tray. It was mostly to move this one. Have I got something in it? Which is really gross, I'm sorry. To move this one further forward. But overall, I'm so happy with it. I feel way more like, didn't realize how maybe sometimes I didn't like how I looked when I smiled in photos. Um, doing this job, you spend so much time looking at photos of yourself, which are the, I think you kind of have to switch yourself off to it, otherwise you go slightly insane. Um, so I don't really think about, or try not to think about what I actually look like a lot of the time in a picture. This doesn't make you feel quite shit. No one should take photos of themselves this often. Um, but yeah, now I really notice that um, when I have photos I'm smiling now, I'm like, oh, I feel really nice in that. So I'm really glad I did it. Um, right, that's on. Not got very much exciting stuff in the bath. I've just used a L'Occitane bubble bath. Oh, I really need to get some more of the shower oil from them. I love it. Just this vain one. I actually prefer the lavender one, but I don't have any of that. And then I always get this or the lavender one for my birthday and Christmas, always. Um, and I'm not gonna wash my hair because I did that yesterday. But if I were, these arrived and I think the packaging is beautiful. Shampoo and conditioner. I've not tried it yet, but if you just have to like a very aesthetically nice bathroom bits, that would be really nice. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have this bath. I can't wait. It's gonna be really nice and relaxing with my face mask on. Uh, yeah, nothing else. This plant's happy. All plants are happy at the moment. We're having a happy plant time. Okay, I am bathed. I'm not yet teeth brushed. 
and I have just finished my book. This is the book that I was reading, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. Um, it is a good holiday read, I would say. If anyone's got summer holidays coming up, then I would recommend it. It's a real wild ride of a book. Definitely not my normal taste in genre. It's kind of like, I mean, there's vampires involved. And while I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I don't like vampire things apart from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, it's not like my general taste. So I don't really know what to say about this book. Like I really enjoyed it and I have like carved out so much time to sit and read it, which I think always like such a good testament to a book, obviously. Um, and the whole time I was reading it, I was thinking how good it would be in a film. It's slightly comical at points, but I felt like it didn't quite go funny enough for me. But then like visualising parts of it, um, like it's quite gruesome in parts as well. I was thinking that this would be really good in a film. It just does. It like it's like it didn't do any of the things enough for me. Like it wasn't funny enough. It wasn't like enough of a horror. It wasn't enough of a fantasy. It wasn't enough of like an Argus saga. It sort of did all of it and none of it quite enough for me. Um, but that means that I have read it quickly. Um, so I guess I recommend it. I do recommend it for a holiday read. It's just a kind of bizarre book, but fun. It was fun to read. Um, I sort of, because obviously the slang vampire thing really gives away the fact there's a vampire in it. But the pacing of that in the book is slow. I kind of wish they hadn't put that in the title and that you were left to guess something a little bit more. Um, but anyway, other books. I just finished reading before I read um, the vampire book. This, which is Richard Hell's autobiography, I Dreamed I Was a Very Clean Tramp. Um, Richard Hell is like a writer and predominantly a musician, probably most famous for being in television. Um, and he, I'm not like a huge television fan, particularly. My friend Hannah recommended this to me. And I just love books that are set in New York in the 80s. So I was like, I want to read it for that reason alone. But of that genre, this is nowhere near the best one that I've read. It's good in the fact that like, he had an interesting life. He was a very influential person. Um, a million and one great stories to tell, like drugs, rock and roll, all of those cliches. Um, very readable, very enjoyable. But he, to me personally, quite insufferable. By the end of it, I was like, oh, we get it. So enjoyed it, but not my favorite book of that genre. And then my next on my to read ones are Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. This came up on TikTok for me in someone's list of books they wish they could read again for the first time. And I've never read it. I've read Gone Girl years and years and years ago, and I've seen the film, but I haven't read this one. And I haven't been reading very much recently. I've been really bad with it. And so I want to get back into it more. Um, and I find it's always a really good thing to get like a few page turners on the go because you find the time to start reading more. And then once you've got it into your routine, it's easier to then get back into like meatier, less liked books which I don't think this is going to necessarily come under the category of, but as we know, don't always like a really big book and it's got small font, so intimidating. However, I've read, um, it's by Barbara Kingslover, and I've read The Poisonwood Bible from her years ago. Such a beautiful book. She's an incredible, incredible writer. Um, and this has come very highly recommended as well. It's called Demon Copperhead. So, oh, it won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. Fancy that. So I'm going to read this one next. I might start this tonight in bed, actually. And then I'm going to take this one. That was just some lip balm falling on the floor. Um, and I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow because I'm so tired. It's like half nine. I was looking for my phone, but there's there's my phone. Um, I'm gonna have a big sleep. I'm gonna sneeze. So I'm gonna go before I sneeze. Oh, okay. Twenty-four cans. Oh, no. They're all under the kitchen island. Oh. And then it rained. I had to cancel. And I ordered new Guinness glasses. Oh. And I. Oh, I thought you had a lot of pint glasses. Yeah, I mean, I do like um, drinking water out of them as well. But checking can temperature. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, man. I've also got six bottles of tequila. I'm 
Cool. I would never say that tequila was something that I would ever think to have. What with? Um, like making margaritas. Lots of people drink like tequila and soda. I don't like it. Uh, right. Ready? Go. Have you seen this before? No. No. Oh, look at that. Deep and rich. I'm going to come with it. Oh. What time do you think I start cooking? Can you see it like it as it gets heavier it tilts itself at the right That's angle? Very That's so clever. Oh yeah. And then oh. it'll tell me when to stop. So now it says put glass down and stop and pour. And then you have to allow it to settle and then you just push it. That's so clever. Uh, yeah, yes, go on then. because it will have the air under it as well. So I'll do him. Do you want him to be higher? Yeah. yeah. Right. Shall I get this one? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold that. Hold that. I'm open this. I'm not hot. Oh, I'm not bothered. It does look really nice though. Where's the scissors? They're uh, on the layer. Right. Okay. There's some string. Yes, in the drawer? In the, yeah, the cutlery drawer. Did the cutlery drawer? Oh, he's going to be a bit traumatised from this thing. <laughs> String? Scissors. Actually, need, it needs more soil. Oh, well, it will do. Below it or above it? I think a bit below as well, but I just need to tie it for now. I think he'll we put more on top of it. Sorry, it's not pretty bloody. Medical assistant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Too long to do it. It doesn't take. I'll hold the batteries. Look at this gorgeous new pot. 
for the plant. This is going to be its forever home. It's ginormous. It nearly killed me when I bringing this into the house. Um, and it's just already making it look so big. I want it to grow so big it touches the roof, which actually feels within reach and quite the possibility. We've got our little friend here. He is so sweet and affectionate. Hi. He comes around nearly every day, don't you, for a fuss. And I bought like a glove that you can brush them with because he molts so much in the summer. So sometimes we have a good brush, don't we? And you like that too. He just likes going around and um, scenting everything, basically, don't you? Um, so yeah, it is, it, what day is it? It's Tuesday morning. There's loads of stuff going on in the house, which is gonna be in the next vlog. Um, so I'm at home today for various workmen, collection deliveries, all of which is very exciting. Lots of stuff is sort of coming together at the same moment, which I'm really pleased about. Um, I'm just being head butted constantly, by the way, under here. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to Organic Basics for working with me on this. Once again, I've got the little baby tee on. Um, I think they're really flattering, really nice tight-fitting t-shirts. I was meant to go to the gym this morning, but I had to cancel because the delivery came in the hour that I was meant to be there. Um, and I was gonna wear this to the gym, actually, and it made me think, oh, it's kind of you double up as really good gym clothes too. That's my coffee signaling to me that it's ready. Um, but yeah, massive thank you to Organic Basics for working with me on this. Links for all of the things that I've mentioned are um, in the description box. I know there was like a brief shot of me in my underwear in this, um, but they did send me lots of knickers as well, which I kind of have refrained from doing lots of knicker shots on YouTube just because it's a dark, dark place out here sometimes. Um, but I can assure you that their knickers are so good. I have a pair on today. Hang on. A slight knicker shot in the kitchen, I think, is a bit more palatable, but they have this really nice V that goes like that. These are like the big briefs that I've got on today. The other day I had on the thong, which um, is my preference, probably I find them more comfortable, but both are great. And I think that this is really flattering and the thongs do the same things as well. So here we go, a little Garrett Basics moment. That's not for you, stop trying to drink the milk. Um, anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, thank you once again to Organic Basics for sponsoring this. Links for everything will be in the description box. So you meant to be on there. You meant to be on there. Mm, he doesn't care, does he? Um, I'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one, won't we? Say bye. It's a nice big purr.